Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome back to Mom and Me. Few months ago, I posted a video Indian weekly meal planning which you guys loved and appreciated a lot and since then I'm receiving heaps of requests to do part 2 of meal prepping and planning, give more insights on how to set up a weekly menu and so on. So, in today's video, I will show you how I set up my weekly menu, what factors I consider while setting up my menu, making grocery list, etc. Next I will show you what pre preparations I do on weekly basis which is the core or most important part of weekly meal planning. Lastly I will show you a few recipes which you guys have requested repeatedly. So let's get started with Indian vegetarian weekly meal plan and prep. First let's have a look into how to set up your weekly menu. I will show you my menu for this week as an example to explain how exactly I make sure that the menu is realistic. and simple and is not just a lot of work so let's look into it for monday lunch i will make alu matar paneer with rice kids are at daycare and husband is at work and i do not mind eating same for dinner too so in dinner i will use same curry but with roti as my husband and kids prefer roti Tuesday for dinner I will make idli sambar which my kids absolutely love so I will make more to last me for next morning breakfast too so Wednesday morning breakfast is sorted too likewise Wednesday for dinner I have green beans with roti but I will make extra rotis so I can cook roti triangles for next day breakfast I will be sharing recipes towards the end so make sure to watch the video till the end Few days I have no gas meals which works best in the breakfast like wheat bakes avocado toast or raisin toast etc on weekend I will soak moong and keep them to sprout for next day or two depending on the weather so in midweek I have moong sprouts ready and I can make masala sprouts or sprout moong salad point to note here is to repeat the ingredient and change the recipe for variety in your diet friday saturdays and sundays i don't have to pack my husband's lunch for work as he fast on mondays and rest of the days are weekend so i keep it simple one pot recipe like big macaroni methi pulao etc sundays kids love to eat something special so homemade veggie burgers or pizzas work best for us On weekends there's always same breakfast masala idlis on Saturdays and poha on Sundays unless we are tired of eating this over and over again and kids ask for a change so have some no brainer menu items too so that you work on autopilot mode as you know what's on the menu so this way i consider many factors and prep my weekly menu so here is my full menu you can take a screenshot of it and use it as an illustration if you wish to prepare a weekly menu for your family too So overlapping few menu items adding few no gas cooking option helps keep menu simple and practical also having set breakfast items for certain days helps take away the guesswork of what shall i cook today now so that we have looked at menu in detail now let's look at what pre preparations need to be done for this refer to your menu again and take a notepad and write down what preparations you can do in advance so that there is minimum waste and maximum optimization of time and energy if i look at my menu i can certainly do following pre preps over the weekend grocery list make a list of grocery and assign the task to shop to your husband this will save you immense time never feel shy of asking for help as you already have a lot on plate so here is my grocery list you can use this as your reference list in case you plan to use my menu make sure you have all that you need for your weekly menu in your grocery basket to make meal planning a success sprout moong To perfectly sprout moong, always wash and soak moong in hot water overnight. This ensures that there are no hard beans left which eventually will not sprout and you won't be able to separate them later. So soak in hot water, leave it overnight and next morning drain all water and cover the vessel. I do not use any cloth still moong sprouts turn out perfectly. The entire process will take 2 to 3 days so have this in midweek menu. blanch spinach 
If you store your greens properly, that is take off bad leaves and line them with paper towel, they will stay fresh in the fridge for around 2 weeks. However, you can make the process of making palak paneer or making green smoothies even faster by blanching the spinach and storing it in a jar. Boiled potatoes. Always always boil potatoes you will end up using it in so many recipes also if you spontaneously decide to make grilled sandwich or potato sandwich well you have it on hand cut green beans i prefer to wash dry and cut green beans this otherwise takes up a lot of time to cut and is not practical when you're in rush at dinner times if you prefer you can buy pre-cut veggies from freezer section too vada batter I have shared how to make perfect vada batter in my kitchen tips video. I will link it in the description box below. It's always handy to have vada batter in fridge for those random cravings. Homemade snacks. Kids love sweet, don't they? So why not make a big batch at home then buy snacks from outside that are full of palm oil and very dangerous for our health. My go-to items are cashew cookies, chocolate brownies and protein balls. I would make a big batch that will last for around 1 to 2 weeks. I will share recipes at the end. Tomato gravy. This is a real time saver when you are making gravies for curries. Having pre-made tomato paste saves you at least few hours each week. Trust me, it does. So definitely have this in your fridge. I crush around 3 kg tomatoes and cook them in deep vessel as it splatters a lot. Cook till oil separates so that it does not go bad quickly. Also do not add any salt as otherwise you will miscalculate the amount of salt in final recipe. I have shown a lot more prepping in my last meal plan video so make sure to watch that video too I will link in the description box for your reference Now so that we have done all the prep we are set for our week the toughest job is done to plan and prep now only execution is required for which I will show you some easy and quick recipes as cooking should not be super time consuming it can be simplified and still it can satisfy your taste buds so let's look into some recipes first chole chana The easiest and the most delicious way to make chole channa is to crush few cloves of garlic, 3 medium tomatoes and 2 red onions in a blender. Next, take a pan, add oil to it, add two cardamoms, few cloves, small cinnamon stick, jeera seeds, hing or asafoetida and add the tomato onion paste. Cook it on medium flame till oil separates. Now add all dry masalas like turmeric powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, red chili powder and chole chana masala and salt. Now I will roast some kasuri methi on low flame and rub it between fingers and make methi powder. Add this powder to gravy and it will instantly add nice flavor and aroma to your gravy. Lastly add boiled chole chana and cook on low flame for around 5 to 7 minutes and trust me this tastes very very delicious. Next recipe is baked macaroni kids special. To make baked macaroni, soak 1 cup macaroni pasta in hot water for 1 hour. You don't have to boil it. Soaking for an hour is just fine. Now I will make the white sauce. To make the sauce, I will take 2 tablespoon butter. To this I will add 2 tablespoon white flour and roast till it's nicely done. Now add around 350 ml of milk but make sure to add in 3 batches so that it does not form any lumps. Cook the sauce till it slightly thickens. Now add pasta and cook for another few minutes. Sauce should not be too thick or too runny. Now turn the flame off and add sliced canned pineapple. Make sure to add only after you turn the flame off otherwise sometimes pineapple turns bitter. Now add to baking tray and top it with cheese. I use 70 30 combination of cheddar and mozzarella cheese. Bake for 5 to 7 minutes till cheese is golden brown. Grill for last few minutes and yummy baked macaroni is ready. I bet your kids will love it. Third whole milk chocolate brownies i kind of messed up with this recipe as i got occupied drinking my saturday morning tea with my husband and completely forgot about the brownie in the oven till i smell something burning oops 
yes i did miss it having said that i still believe the recipe is a hit because we ended up eating it anyway we just took the crust the burnt crust off and we guys enjoyed it so i am going to share the recipe with you guys take a double boiler and add half bar of dark chocolate and melt it once the chocolate is melted add half cup butter and mix it till this mixture turns shiny now turn the flame off and add half cup sugar while it's still hot it just helps sugar to melt faster if you want you can replace sugar with maple syrup works equally well now add 3 tablespoon cocoa or cacao powder and mix well next add 3 tablespoon yogurt and mix it well then add 1 cup wheat flour or almond meal a quarter teaspoon baking powder and a pinch of baking soda mix well and add it to the baking tray with parchment paper lined at the bottom and cook in preheated oven for 20 minutes at 250 degrees but keep an eye otherwise you will end up burning it like me each oven is different so make sure to keep an eye but do try this recipe it turns out great fourth roti triangle my kids love simply love this roti triangles in the breakfast it's basically using leftover rotis and filling it with coriander garlic and tomato gravy and roast it on tawa to make gravy i am crushing a handful of coriander few cloves of garlic in mortar and pestle now in a pan add 1 tablespoon of oil on low heat add coriander paste to it then add dry masala Do not add too much masalas. Now, either add one grated tomato. I already have this tomato gravy on hand ready that I prepared as part of meal prep, so I will add two spoons of that. This is super time saver, I tell you. Let this mixture cool. Once cool, stuff it between rotis and roast the rotis on tawa. One hack is to sprinkle some water on tawa when you are about to take the rotis off, as it will keep them soft and avoid them from being chewy. Serve with ketchup or just as it is. Fifth, methi alu. If you meal prep and store green veggies right, it's a piece of cake to cook. I have methi leaves ready to use, and all I have to do is wash and make sabzi in cooker. I will wash methi and peel few potatoes. I already have tomato gravy ready, so my curry will be ready in less than 15 minutes. To make methi alu, take pressure cooker, add two tablespoons of oil to it, add potatoes cut in cubes, and roast them slightly. Also add two cloves of garlic cut into small pieces then add methi leaves and roast for few minutes to get rid of its bitterness now add all masalas and mix well lastly add tomato gravy around 3 to 4 spoons more tomatoes less bitter methi will taste now lastly add water around 1 glass and cook for 3 to 4 whistles methi alu tastes equally well with rice or roti so give this a try The last recipe for today is cashew cookies. To make cashew cookies, all you need is half cup butter, half cup sugar, one cup wheat flour, and one cup coarsely crushed cashews. As simple as that. Half butter, half sugar, one cup wheat flour, and one cup cashews. Easy to remember. Mix them all. Use few tablespoons of milk to knead firm dough. Shape them into round discs and bake on 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. It hardly takes 30 minutes to make including prep time, but these are addictive. So hide it from your family otherwise all cookies will be gone in one day. I have already shared protein balls or sukri recipe in past. I will leave a link of few videos in the description box below which I think would be really helpful as I have shared a lot of recipes there as well. I hope you gained something out of this video today. If you did, please consider liking this video and do not forget to subscribe to Mom and Me and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.